So we'll start at the beginning. The car was never drag purpose like this. Um, when I bought the car, it was twin turbo, stock, six speed, no mods. It had like an exhaust, a cat back on it. It still had the catalytic converter and it actually paid $19,000 Canadian. I think it was five or six years ago now. I've ruined it. So since then, it's always been a stock block. I always seem to be buying the accessory pieces and never upgrade the block. It's at a point where it is right now that if I wanted to upgrade the stock block, I have everything that I need in the car to make 12, 13, 1400 horsepower. As it sits currently, it's 840 wheel horsepower. It's been 879 at 155 mile an hour. <laughs> Two, three. Eight, nine, seven. Yeah. We were going to turn it up, we ran out of time, and uh, the track just wasn't holding any more power. So that's currently where it sits, and we'll get into what it costs. So I've already been over one. The price of the car was $19,000 Canadian. Most of these prices are going to be in Canadian, just so you guys can relate to them, or not relate to them. You have to do math. Probably not good at math. So stock short block, on top of that we have BC 276 cams and single springs. That's the only thing on the head that's upgraded. I believe the cam and the spring package was around $800 to $1,000 Canadian. So we'll add that in the price in the bottom. I'm also going to have to mention that um, a lot of these parts were sponsor parts. So I didn't pay, I can't tell you what I paid, but I, I didn't pay full price for a lot of them. So I will put the full price details in there and um, you can make assumptions after that, I guess. So connected to our camshafts, we have our powerhouse racing mechanical pump and gears. This little setup here costs around $1,100 Canadian. So we'll add that into the price as well. And then we have our Weldon mechanical pump, which is like $800 Canadian on top of that. Um, another big item to note in the front is that we run a Mazir electric water pump. And I believe that's around three or $400. And then we don't run any accessories. So there's no AC, no power steering and no alternator because we run a 16 volt battery in the back. And you can't see it, but underneath our massive turbo here is a Powerhouse Racing Series 4 or 5 manifold. It's got a billet collector on it. Um, it's for dual wastegates. That was roughly $3,000 Canadian. Plus our two wastegates, another $1,000 Canadian. And we have a really sick custom exhaust by AFR Auto Works here. It's like a tri-merge tip. And we'll call that another $800 Canadian on top of our Borg Warner S476 Turbo, and that was $2,200 Canadian. Moving on to this side, we have our big Pro-J manifold with a 105 millimeter throttle body on it. Um, this thing, really not necessary for making the power that we did, it just looks really nice. It has the option of running, it has the option of running 12 injectors, we're only running six currently, but it's wired up for 12. The other plugs are here. And this thing is $3,000 Canadian. And to join this side to this side, we have a big ETS intercooler. And this thing is $1,200 Canadian. I don't know what our tally is at currently, but as I'm editing this, I'm probably not gonna like it. And I'm probably gonna be ashamed of myself. This is why you don't add things up, guys. There's a bunch of other small miscellaneous bits in the front, like this fuel tank and the radiator, that's not OEM stuff, but I won't add that in. We do have a big weld-in fuel pressure regulator. That's probably another like $400. And we do run a Zex wet kit shot of nitrous here. And that's probably another $600. I almost forgot to mention, we do have a really nice wiring harness here. And that costed me another $1,800 Canadian. I forgot to mention, we upgraded our coils. Those are GTR R35 coils from Platinum Racing Products. They make a really good uh, adapter kit for the Supra if you want to keep your stock valley cover. That kit, I think, is around $1,100 Canadian as well. Moving to this side of the car now, we do have in the front, those are Weld V-Series skinnies. Um, and then we have dual beadlock Weld V-Series in the rear. The whole wheel setup with the tires, um, roughly $4,500 Canadian. And then we have strange brakes, drag brakes front and rear to lighten it up. And that gets another $2,000 Canadian. Coming inside, we have a custom cage built by AFR Auto Works. This is a 10 point cage certified for 850. 
And this thing cost me $4,500 Canadian with our custom Kirky mount seat brackets and everything. We were able to retain most of the dash and everything and all the interior pieces. A lot of it's not in there. And then up here, we do have a AEM dash. This thing was $1,700 Canadian. It's actually really nice. And for the price point, I highly recommend it. Coming to the back, we do have a chute that we pulled on our 897 pass here that I did not repack, so it's just stuffed in the trunk back there. Um, but yeah, you can, that was part of the cost of the cage, so that thing. Oh, look at all the, look at all the rubber my car kicks up. If you guys know me personally, you know that I'm not like super good at keeping things really clean, especially when we live in an area like we do here where you can see my back alley is just all rocks and dirt and dust and everything is dirt and dust. So there's that. Coming into this side, we already talked about our Zex Nitrous kit here. Um, it's just your basic, basic wet shot and it's controlled by our, our Link ECU Thunder. So we have our Thunder ECU. And that thing is roughly $2,000 Canadian and our leash board we're using for our relays. And that thing is $300 Canadian, I believe. And now I can't really show you the underside of the car. However, there's a turbo 400 transmission in this thing. That thing cost me $6,000, but I don't know if I should include it in the price because I sold the V160 in this, the stock six speed for roughly the same price that I bought the turbo 400 for. Another big thing that I did not mention while I was in the back of the car here is that we do have a custom four link setup. It costed a little bit of money to set that up. Huge shout out to AFR Auto Works. They hooked me up big time on that one. You can't really put a price point on that, but the cost of like the axle and the four link kit, somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,500, $3,000 plus the fab work. So these are really rough estimate numbers and I'm sure once I have the total on the screen right here somewhere, I'm gonna be like, oh my God, why'd I go ahead and do that to myself? Only to run eights. Kyle, you could have done that with any car. However, like I mentioned before is our chassis is now set up that if we wanted to add more power, it's as simple as adding a built bottom end to this car. We have everything else except for maybe dual valve springs, but we have all like the mechanical pump, the fuel issue solved. We have the GTR R35 coils, the ignition solved. We have a good wiring harness, good ECU, good fuel. Like our drivetrain is good. We got the Turbo 400 transmission and we have our steel axle, our 8.8 .8 that's built with 35 spline axles and a spool in it. So when we really do feed this thing power, we're not gonna have to worry about anything breaking. And I think that was the main thing I was going for here. I was trying to overbuild all the accessories instead of getting to a thousand horsepower, realizing we don't have enough fuel, we're getting spark blowout, all those kinds of things that you you have to worry about when you're building a high horsepower car. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video on explaining what I've spent in this car. Obviously I've looked over a lot of things and you could probably add four or five, six thousand dollars in miscellaneous things that I've bought in overtime that are just the nitpicky things that you don't really remember when you're trying to explain all the big prices. Like peace easy guys, get that V and hopefully we'll see you guys at the track soon. I knew it! I what was the 60s? 